No, verbal communication is an important form of communication. Nonverbal communication often carries the most meaning during interpersonal relationships and within interpersonal communication. Hi, my name is James McKee, and the topic of this presentation will be the importance of nonverbal communication and how it's changed how I think about communication. Nonverbal messages can be a lot more of an accurate depiction of the true meaning within communication. During this presentation, I'll be discussing a couple of the characteristics as well as a couple of the categories of nonverbal communication, how I thought about communication before learning about this concept, and I'll be sharing how it's changed how I think about communication currently. I am discussing nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication can be defined as any communicative behavior other than written or spoken language that creates meaning for someone. There are many characteristics of nonverbal communication or behavior such as that they are believable, they are continuous, and they are also multi-channeled. Included in nonverbal behavior are also many categories that relate to specific gestures. An example within the source that I uh, used for this presentation is that nonverbal behaviors can be indicators of deception. There are three defined approaches to nonverbal deceptive behavior. For example, the emotional approach would suggest that a liar can feel either guilt, fear, or excitement, and that each emotional state, or that this emotional state, will lead to a specific set of behaviors. Before learning about this concept, I thought that nonverbal behavior was important, but I had no idea the degree to which it weighed on, person, on interpersonal relationships and within interpersonal communication. For example, during conversations with people before, I would often display gestures and postures that are even facial cues that may not have properly conveyed to them my interest in the, in the conversation. Since learning about this concept, I've been more self-aware and I've been a lot more conscious and made an effort to display facial cues and display kinesic behavior that appropriately conveys my emotion or feeling about the conversation or whatever mode of communication. For example, now when I'm in class, I uh, try to consciously sit with a better posture and also display facial cues that may be more positive to, dis to demonstrate to my instructors how engaged and how happy I am to be learning in, the, in their learning environment. In conclusion, nonverbal cues can be a more telling sign of the true meaning of communication than verbal communication can be. Nonverbal is the most important form of communication. My greater understanding of this concept has made me a better communicator within my interpersonal relationships as well as during interpersonal communication.